How we doing? Good. Good. A little chilly out there. Other than that, another good day. Good work. Um, again, as we get closer, closer to a big game. What do you guys have? Yes, I do. Yeah, he's in concussion protocol. And once they put him in, nothing we can do about it. And had some symptoms. Yeah, he didn't take a hit or anything like that. You know, it's just kind of, kind of strange. But that's how that stuff works. You know, and uh, we'll we'll have to work through it. Uh, I still feel good about JC. Still feel good about JC. And uh, the plan was to not do much as much as we can. You know, but tomorrow I like to say a little something and go from there. Gaines hurt himself at practice. No, no, Gaines didn't hurt himself at practice. Gaines came in and had symptoms and it had nothing to do with practice. Practice was yesterday. This happened today. So I just think it's something that's been lingering and maybe it didn't say much. And again, when they put them in the protocol, once they check them, that's what it is. That's how it goes. You don't think it happened yesterday in practice? No, no. Mm -mm. Game then. I don't know. I mean, I just, again, I can't answer that. I mean, I just know it's not from practice, from yesterday's practice. I just think these things, you know, sometimes they flare up at different times, you know, in, diff in different ways with players. We had one of these a year ago, you know, it was a little different. But uh, once they check them and they put them in a protocol, in they go. Tough to lose a guy like that at this point when you're preparing to face Winston? Absolutely. It is tough. But again, next man up, you know, here we go. Carry. Body goes nickel and on we go. Those three receivers that Tampa has, and how will that stress your guys? It's stress, it's stress the coaches too. The guys, coaches, everybody, they're good. You know, I make no doubt about it. We got one that's averaging 23 yards of reception, another guy that's 14 yards of reception, and another guy that's 13 or 12, whatever he is, Goodwin, and they're all making plays. They've all scored touchdowns, and then you throw the tight ends in there too. I mean, they have some weapons, the guys that can score the ball. So it's a big challenge for us, but again, uh, we gotta gotta go play well. What has he been doing when he stepped in for Terrence? I think he did some good things. You know, I think um, after the uh, Raiders game and um, you know Mitch went down, I think he uh, accepted the challenge. I think he was playing, doing some good things for us. You know, so again, it's a tough blow, but I mean, nothing you can do about it. You know, when they have the uh, these concussion symptoms, you gotta make sure you take care of them. Aside from the fact that uh, Winston has had some struggles uh, as a pro already. Uh, Looking at uh, uh, his ability and what made him uh, a number one pick, uh, what are some of the elements that uh, make him tough when he's uh, playing? He can throw the football. I mean, obviously, he can throw the football with anybody. You know, he's a, a true, um, you know, passer in my opinion. But he's one of those guys when he goes back there, he he's not going to just die easy. You know, you have to take this guy down because he's still trying to make plays. You know, in times when you think other guys are going down, he still has the ability to make a play down the field with the ball. So um, he's a tough, competitive uh, guy, uh, likes to win, likes to play. Um, he's done some good things. The guy's completing 75% of his passes. So um, again, we got our we got our work cut out for us. Yeah. Was that tough to bring down you? Is it a little bit of Roethlisberger that way? I'm sorry? But a Roethlisberger in terms of him being a hard guy. You know, again, you know how I am about comparing guys. I just think this is his style. You know, he just he is not so much the running around. It's just guys fall off of him, and he's able to slide to the right, slide to the left, you know, and, and still make plays. When you, when you look at them on tape, I mean, obviously their record is two and three, but do they look like a team that's lost three straight games or should have or anything like that? Yeah, I, I mean, again, I don't never get so much caught up in the, the records. Um, it's the way they're playing, you know. Again, that was a shootout last week, you know, with Atlanta, um, you know, on the road. Uh, so, again, that's that's a division game. We know how those go, you know. But I think they've, um, you know, they've scored a lot of points. They've moved the ball, you know. At times they've, you know, made some plays on defense. They've stopped the run on defense. I mean, I, I know everybody's saying, well, the pass has, has been their Achilles heel. Um, I'm sure they're working their tails off to, to shore that up. So I, I, and they, they're good on special teams. So I see a good football team. You know, uh, what we want to do is make sure they don't hit their stride this week. You know, but uh, they have talent and uh, they have good, good coaches. So again, it's a good team. Uh, David Njoku's touchdown last week. And <clears throat> how you liked it? Have you seen his overall game improve? It seems like he's catching more balls. Week by week. No, he is. He's getting better. I think he's getting better every week. He's getting comfortable. You know, I think the quarterback's getting comfortable with him. Um, 
you know, I think that chemistry is starting to develop, which I think is important. And then I think David's understanding the demands of playing in the position better, you know, and, and making sure that he's ready to go and understanding what his role is within the offense. So I think he's doing well. Evans and uh, Deshaun Jackson and Godwin, just how difficult of a matchup do those three guys present? It's a, I think I said earlier, it's a heck of a challenge. I mean, you got one guy that's big and fast, another one guy that's smaller and fast, and the other guy was in between that can do all those things too. So Deshaun Jackson is one of the fastest guys I've seen play, you know, whether it was high school or college or the National Football League. He can, he can really go, you know. And, so, um, and then Evans is he's one of the best players in the league at this position. So we, we understand what the challenge is. That's how they score. I mean, I said it yesterday. They got 16 touchdown passes and one rushing touchdown. So uh, they're going to throw the football. As Denzel Ward's been, it seemed that the one guy who really kind of gave him trouble was Michael Thomas, who's obviously excellent. But he's also big, and, and it just it makes me think of the Evans matchup. Is that something that you know Ward has to kind of take the next step and prove that he can handle some of the bigger guys? Well, I think he's you know he's tried to. Uh, I'm not going to say try. He has. He's competed against bigger guys, smaller guys. I mean, I think what's going to be important is just our matchups. You know, how we decide to match up with that football team, you know, and uh, we'll know that on Sunday. You know, I can't tell you guys that today. But um, again, it's a tall challenge. But again, we have guys that we feel very uh, confident and comfortable with um, that will go out and cover these guys. Obviously, we're going to have to rush the quarterback. We, get, we can't let him stand back there and make normal rhythm plays. I think we all get that. Um, but again, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. I expect JC to start, but. How has Corbett been progressing? I mean, we haven't seen him play, obviously, in the game much. But what have you seen in practice? And what gives you the confidence he could play center if he needed to? He's done a good job. I mean, it's been, you know, business as usual in practice. I think that's good. You know, I know the game's a little different, you know, when the other teams, uh, you know, guys are really going after you in a little different manner. But he's handled it really well this week, and that was good to see. Uh, but he's been coming on that way. You know, every week we've kind of uh, continue to push him like that. And I think he's accepted that challenge. And I think if he has to play, he'll go out and play well.